Hello, we're KOK Genesis. In this video, we originally tried to explain the K Stadium to Way Bridge. Currently, the fee for converting to ERC20 is very expensive. And it occurred to me that there would be no one to convert using the bridge. Also, if you have been familiar with the last video, it will not be difficult to convert from ground chain to ERC20. So I will explain the referral marketing of KOK Play. We will also explain various blockchain proof methods. First of all, KOK Play was able to mine KOK by proof of participation. However, the participation proof method was suspended when the beta version of Mainit was released in April this year. This is because it was a way to build a coin ecosystem, until the main it was created in the KOK white paper. Instead, free membership is now available. Previously, they should have staked at least $300, or more. Now, even if you sign up for free, you get a mileage equivalent to $100. This mileage means the same thing as staking at $100. And if I have someone else sign up with my recommendation code, I'll be staking at $200 plus $100. In other words, each time one is recommended, the mileage accumulates to $100, increasing the staking assets. That's why we can all make money by signing up for free and recommending. It is also a way to participate in the creation of the KOK ecosystem. There are many ways to proof a coin. Examples include POWPOS, POP, DPOS, DDPOS, DPOI, POH, MPOV, ET, etc. It can be said that most of them are derived from POS. We are simply going to tell you five things. POWPOS, POP, DPOS, and DPOI. First, POW is short for proof of work. This method is used by the first generation coin to generate blocks using the main board or graphics card. Bitcoin is a case in point. Not everyone can do it because they must use electricity and have mining equipment. Second, POS is short for proof of stake. It's a kind of deposit. If you deposit coins, you will be paid coins according to the coin share. Although there is an advantage that anyone can participate, it can accelerate the rich and poor. This includes Ethereum merge, which has recently become an issue. Third, POP is short for proof of participation. KOK Play used it before the main it, and even if you don't have money, you can overtake wealth. The possibility is open to everyone because rewards can increase depending on the degree of my participation. Fourthly, DPoS is short for deregistered proof of stake. Solve the slow processing speed and high fees of POS. Typically used by EOS. We elect 21 representatives and delegate our coins to them and determine the direction of the business accordingly, but it didn't get a good result. Recently, we intend to solve the existing problems while proceeding in combination with the POP method. So there seems to be a price increase. Fifthly, DPOI is short for deregistered proof of investment. The problem of DPOS was supplemented. There is a device to prevent disproportionate authority to a particular representative. Instead, the amount invested cannot be cancelled. Currently, Case Stadium is in use. I think I can tell you about the pros and cons only when the official version and yellow paper are released. The situation in the coin market is not good now. The same will be true of stocks as well as coins. The crypto winter is expected to run for at least a year from now. Until then, 
If you study hard about crypto with Genesis Group, you will get good results in a year. See you!